Hello, how you doing? Gonna make this absolutely delicious, spicy, cheesy potato toasted sandwich. Let's get moving. In my pan there, I've got a little bit of oil. I'm adding a teaspoon of cumin seeds and black mustard seeds. We're on an above medium heat. 10, 20 seconds, let them do their thing in the oil. Then we're gonna add some onion. It's all small amounts we're adding here. That's maybe two tablespoons. Two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste. And then I'm gonna be adding about three tablespoons of grated carrot along with a cup of white cabbage. You can adjust all of the amounts, by the way, of course. So we're gonna let that go for about four minutes. Next up, fresh chili to taste, entirely up to you the amount that you wanna put in. Then we've got a teaspoon each of turmeric, cumin, and chili powder. We're gonna add some salt. I'm also gonna add some black pepper to this now. You could put some coriander powder in if you wanted. I've just omitted it. Couple of tablespoons of bell peppers. Give that a mix. You could, if you wanted, add some garden peas or frozen peas to this. Let that go for about four minutes. Then I've got two cups of straight mashed potatoes. So boil the potatoes, mash them, job done, that's it. I didn't add any butter or anything to it like that. A little bit of cilantro or coriander, whatever you might call that. And then for about another three or four minutes, we're just gonna mix that in, mix, 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 and then we've got our filling done. So next up, we're gonna look at our bread. So I've got four slices of regular white bread, and I've buttered each one. Now we're gonna turn them over because the butter's only for the outside. What I've got here is some mint coriander chutney. You can again change this to something else. You could put some taramine in it maybe or something or some chili sauce, that's entirely up to you. Just gonna give that a little spread around. I mean, this is very similar to a Mumbai veg sandwich. Not quite the same, but very similar. Then we're gonna take our potato filling and we're gonna be quite generous with it. We're not gonna do it thin, you know, fairly thick, and we're just gonna place that all on, give it a nice covering, and try and get all the corners there as well. Then some grated cheese of your choice. I've got some cheddar here. You could use mozzarella if you wanted. And again, be as generous or, you know, as liberal as you like, really. Then I've got three eggs there, which I've just beaten. I'm just gonna make a little quick straight omelet. Gonna place that on there, half each, and I'll just cut that in half and then stuck it on. And then the other bread, which I've now got the buttered side facing up, and I've got some tomato ketchup, straight ketchup, on the other side facing down. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop it into one of those kind of George Foreman type grills. This is not a George Foreman thing, but you know what I mean, a sandwich kind of press. You know what we're looking for? Some kind of golden brown love. It's probably gonna take about five minutes, I would imagine. Absolutely wonderful. That is delicious. So really crispy there, juicy and spicy on the inside slightly gooey with the cheese that's a winner i really love this sandwich i hope you enjoy that you keep safe you keep well and i'll see you soon lots of love now if you do like what you've seen here it really helps the channel out if you could do one of these all three in fact give us a thumbs up leave us a comment and subscribe helps the algorithm do its thing do you know what i mean see you later